Hello and welcome to another video. We will be solving a differential equation, but it's our job to know whether this differential equation is linear or it is separable or if it is um, what else? First order or second order or third order, but that's just some practice you want to do every time you see a differential equation. But looking at this, I know that the only y that was differentiated, it was differentiated once. So it's a first order differential equation. And But I don't know if it's separable or not. Um, is it linear? Well, we have to try to write it in the standard form and see if we can get it to look like what I'm about to show you. going to have um, dy dx will be equal to, or no, to be dy dx plus p of x times y. And on the right hand side, you're going to get a function which we could write as, let's write it as q of x. Now, if you can make this look like this, then it is a linear differential equation a first order differential equation in the standard form. So let's see if we can do that. Now I'm going to rewrite this y prime as dy dx. So I'm going to have, let's bring this down here. So we're going to have, so this is the standard form, don't forget. And this is our initial condition. It's going to help us find the constant at the end. So we have um, x multiplied by dy dx plus you have just y equals x natural log of x. Now let's see, we need this guy to stand alone and it's the most important thing to do first. So I'm going to divide every term by x and if I divide every term by x, I'm gonna end up with dy dx is equal to, sorry, not equal to, plus. Well, if this divides this, it's gonna be one over x times y and if I divide this by x, I get natural log of x. At this point, it looks like what I have here looks like this. I just need to identify what my p of x is because that's what I need for my integrating factor. So if I look at this, my p of x is 1 over x. Okay, so we can say that p of x equals 1 over x. Therefore, the integrating factor which you must always get when you have this in um, standard form, is equal to e to the integral of p of x. Okay, and in this case, it's going to be, let's see, we can actually do it here. It's going to be e to the integral of what is our p of x? 1 over x dx. What is the integral of 1 over x? It's natural log of x. So this is the same thing as e to the ln of x, which is x, because this will cancel this out, and you have x. So our integrating factor is x. So we can say that the integrating factor is x. That's the most work you're going to do at the beginning of your setup. And once this is done, you want to do this. I showed this in other videos, but I will no longer spend time showing it. The point of getting the integrating factor is because you know that um, maybe I should show it in case this is the first time you're watching a differential equation video using integrating factor. So let me just show it. So you use this x now, you take this x and you multiply every term that is in the standard form. Remember, this is the standard form we generated, okay? So multiply this by x, multiply this by x, multiply this by x, okay? I know we divided by x before, but sometimes you don't get, most times you don't get the same answer as what you used to divide. So let's multiply back again and see what we get. So if we multiply again, we're going to get x times dy dx. If we multiply this by x, we're going to get just y. And if we multiply this by x, we get x ln x. So this equation was already in the form that was easy, but I, I didn't see it. Okay. 
So, but if you saw it, it's just still better that you show your work so you're sure that what you're doing is correct. So now I have this. Now, what does this mean? Automatically, whenever you're, you get your integrating factor and you use it to multiply everything, the left-hand side automatically becomes the product, just the product. Okay, let's do it this way. Look, this looks like we have applied the product rule to the derivative of xy. Keep the first, differentiate the second, differentiate the first, keep the second. Do you see that? So this expression looks like the derivative of x times y. Okay, so we're going to keep the left hand side. So this is what we have, natural log of x. So let's solve it. Remember, our job is to find y. That's the point of solving a differential equation. You're looking for the function that was originally differentiated. So now, what does this mean? This looks like we took the derivative ddx of xy, which is another way of writing this, equals x times the natural log of x. Um, you know what we could do? We can multiply both sides by dx so that what we have here is just d x y equals x ln x dx. Now we can take the integral of both sides. So if I integrate this, I integrate this. See, this integral sign will take out this d. That's how you, you should view it. So that what is left is just x y equals the integral of this. Now, what is this integral? Let's write it out. x natural log of x dx. You'll have to use, what would you use? Integration by parts. So I'm going to say that I'll make, I'll differentiate this. So this is what I will differentiate. I will integrate this because this is easier to differentiate. So if I differentiate natural log of x, what would I get? I'm going to get 1 over x. If I integrate the natural log of x, I mean, if I integrate um, x, what do I get? I get x squared over 2. Okay, so I put the sign plus minus. You could do it anyhow, but I like doing this. And this is not going to get better, but it has gotten to a point where I have a polynomial, because if I multiply across, I'm going to get just x over 2. So my answer to this, let's continue here. So I can say that xy is equal to this integral. This integral here can now be written as plus natural log of x times x squared over 2. So that's going to be equal to x squared over 2 natural log of x, sorry, natural log of x. And then we go to the product across. I just stop because I can integrate this easily. Minus the integral of this product. What is 1 over x times x squared over 2? That's going to be half of x. So I can integrate 1 half of x. This is the same thing as x squared over 2 times natural log of x times, I mean, minus 1 half of the integral of x dx. Well, that looks like x squared over 2, natural log of x minus 1 half of, the integral of this is going to be x squared over 2 plus c. We're almost there. So we have xy. Now xy equals, so let's make it x squared ln x over 2 minus x squared over 4 plus c. Remember to introduce your plus c as soon as you integrate the right-hand side. As soon as you integrate this side, make sure you introduce plus c. You don't need to put a plus c on this side because as you see, we didn't really do any integration. We, it was just a modification, okay? So here, what you want to do is isolate y because that's what we're looking for. So we're going to divide every term that we have by x. So here, we're going to end up with x over 2 x over 2 ln x minus, if we divide this also by x, we're going to get x over 4. And we have to divide this also by x. 
we're going to get plus c over x. And this is the general solution. We don't know what c is, but we can narrow down what c is by using the initial uh, values that we were given. So this is our general solution. Now let's try and plug in these numbers into this just to find, to solve the initial condition problem. So we have um, when w x equals 1, y equals 0. So we can say 0 equals x equals 1. We have 1 over 2 natural log of 1 minus 1 over 4 plus c over 1. What does this tell us? It tells us 0 equals natural log of 1 is 0 minus 1 over 4 plus c. Clearly it tells us that c must be equal to 4 because if you bring this negative 1 fourth, sorry, c must be 1 fourth. If we bring this 1 fourth here, you're going to get 1 fourth. So this implies that c is equal to 1 over 4. Therefore, our solution, our initial value problem solution will be equal to um, some people like to write this nicely by factoring. I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave it this way. It's going to be one half of x ln x minus one fourth of x. And finally, it would be c over, what is c? c is one over four. So that's going to be one over four x plus one over four x. Okay, the x is in the denominator. I don't think this is the nicest way to write this, but that's what we get. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.